Right, Ghost, you start off with a brief statement, please? Yeah, I thought, uh, you know, with some really good things happen tonight, I thought that the, uh, the group that started the game uh, execution-wise to, uh, to start the game, getting off to a 19-3 to or 18-3, to whatever it was, lead, uh, I thought offensively and defensively that group was, was phenomenal um, from an execution standpoint on both sides of the ball. And um, obviously some things we got to get better at post-defense, rebounding the basketball, uh, you know, turnovers, although we did a much better job in the second half taking care of the basketball and getting a shot on goal. Uh, from a stylistic standpoint, obviously the three ball is something that's going to be extremely important to us. And uh, 35 attempts from beyond the arc is a lot of, of attempts, but that's kind of who we're going to have to be. And then, you know, I've told people that, you know, for the last five and a half months or six months, whatever, that we've been really physical with one another in practice. And I thought you saw that uh, tonight with, with, with uh, putting Little Rock on the line for, you know, 30 free throws attempted. Um, we got to clean up our following, but, but early on we did want to be physical and, and, and kind of be a, a team that, 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 that played with physicality. And now we got to clean it up and play without fouling. You recently said that your dad came up with a stat or an observation. Three big runs in a game, the team that controls two of, the, two of those. You guys started 19-3, second half it was 21-6 to blow that open. Talk about that part of it. And was that an observation you noticed that really led to the win? Yeah, because they, they did make a run on us uh, you know, there towards the end of the first half after we got up uh, big 19-3. And, and uh, you know, when you shoot a lot of threes, uh, that can happen. And, and so... When you bank two or three threes and then you're able to get some defensive stops or your defense can create a steal, um, that's kind of who we're going to have to be. Uh, we're not going to be a grinded out half court team. But I did feel and our staff felt that from an execution standpoint, uh, we got some really, really good clean looks out of some half court sets, which we didn't know being new if we were going to be able to, to execute stuff. We. You know, when you're when you're putting stuff in, sometimes you get three or four guys execute, and then one guy kind of forgets, and it blows the whole play up. But I thought again early on that group uh, that started was phenomenal. Getting even the shots that we missed, I thought we had some really good looks. Yeah, so uh, Desi got uh, limp, but I guess his right calf or ankle or something. Do you know what his injury is or what? Any cramps? Cr okay. So. Yeah. So that's nothing too serious, I guess. No, we're not too worried about yeah, it. Yeah, that's good. And then uh, I got to get him some potassium, yeah. Bob. So He's I eat some. Yeah. So I, I, Isaiah, 17 attempts is a lot, but he hit eight, so that's pretty good. Just what do you think of his efficiency? I guess from three point line. And do you really think, yeah, 35 that might be the norm for you guys? It might be. Um, I don't know what the most we shot at Nevada, but I asked Hayes Myers during the game when I looked at the stat sheet during a timeout. And I thought we were on pace at one point to take 40. And I think he thought that 34 was the most we, we took at Nevada in four years. So I don't know if that's true or not. Um, but yeah, we might be a high volume three point attempt team. That, that just might be who we are. And, and Isaiah, I thought he was awesome. Um, you know, I have a, a, a buddy that uh, I have great respect for, a guy that was a former assistant coach. Uh, Aubrey McCrary, who was with the Cavs as an assistant, and I actually brought him in to watch two practices prior to this game, watch this game, and and, and watch us on, on Monday and Tuesday again, just to give me an outside kind of consultant type look. And he was at dinner last night, and he said 15. And I said, what's 15? He said, that's how many three balls you're going to need Isaiah to take. He was pretty prophetic in that. that we needed him to, to take a, a, a lot of threes. Just, just to follow up on Zay, he didn't finish the game on the floor. Was that something to do with just looking at different guys trying to finish a game? Yeah, that's, I mean, later, no, all that was, Kevin, really was just, you know, I mean, some guys, I let them play through mistakes after mistake after mistake that normally we won't do. Um, but I, I took hit Jimmy and and Isaiah out, and then obviously when Jalen fouled out, we put Jimmy back in. But um, I felt those guys had done their work, had done their job. We were able to evaluate them. Certainly wanted to win the game tonight, um, although we know it doesn't count. Um, but having said that, we also wanted to look at different combinations and some things as well. And um, 
so that was why we wanted some guys some guys needed some extra run or burn or whatever you want to call it Did you like the way that you melted the clock there at the end on the last few possessions and got good looks? And also, how did you think you did against the press that they had? Oh, we were abysmal against the press. Um, but again, it's early, and historically, we've been phenomenal against the press. I thought we, you know, we made a little bit of adjustment, had a lob when we had numbers for Ethan, and and uh, just didn't come down, catch it cleanly. But uh, that's something that. Should not bother us. It hasn't. It hasn't bothered our teams in the past. But I thought, from a spacing standpoint, we looked disorganized against their press. And it's also hard to play with the lead, quite frankly, with with any team. Um, give Coach Walker's team a lot of credit. They did not stop playing. Um, he tried to junk it up a little bit with with the uh, with the press, and they they bothered us. So that's great. Now we can go back and watch it and look at the turnovers and meet with guys individually and show our team we can't have our off guard inbound the ball against the press when the two man's supposed to be the second outlet. So we'll be able to show a particular player that and reinforce how we're supposed to execute. Jimmy tonight, the way you initiated the offense and hit the glass. You know, it's not often. Uh, that when you're recruiting and you're trying to put together a roster late, a lot of, there's not a lot of options. We felt Jimmy was, was as good, if not the best fit, that we could get from a guard standpoint because of his ability to rebound. There was other players that might have been good shooters or really good ball handlers, but believe it or not, we actually feel like Jimmy Witt is as good, if not the best rebounding point guard in the nation. Um, he did it last year. If you look at his rebounds per minute, if you watch film of him, he's got an incredible nose for the ball, and we lack rebounding. And so we, you know, I mean, we have a point guard that goes out tonight and leads us in defensive rebounding, and that's probably not going to be the last time that I bring that up. What's up, Kevin? So all up on Jimmy. I just wanted to say it looked to me like when he drove into the paint and kick out, drove into the paint. It seemed like some guys drive in and maybe get tied up with the ball. He did a good job, it looked to me, of getting guys that were open. Is that something he brings as a point guard skill that you knew about when you watched him, or he, is there surpri some surprise there? No, really. I mean, I think he's, you know, I, I think early on in his career, he was kind of a combo guard. And as time has developed, he's turned into a true point guard, a pass first point guard. And, you know, I, we're hopeful that he and Jalen, J5 together, will, will be able to be really, really good point guards for us. Yeah, just wonder what your thoughts were on the, the pregame ceremony, how the Nolan Richardson court looks. And, you know, Mike Anderson came back and uh, just wonder what you thought about it. Did you get to talk to Mike? Just what did you think about that? Because some guys in his situation, they probably would have been bitter and not come back, you know? Yeah, no, I thought, you know, first of all, I think the court looks awesome. I think administration did a phenomenal job. Um, everything, you know, even the lane, I think, looks better. The logos that, that, that they put down, I know that's what, you know, the fans wanted. And um, it's a classy look, the way they did it. Um, coach Richardson, legendary coach. I mean, for it's kind of a little bit unique. First time I step out on the floor, and then I'm looking out there, and Todd Day and Corey Beck, and all these dudes that you know that I have incredible admiration for. And um, and then obviously with Coach Anderson, I think it's awesome that he and his wife were able to come back and and participate in the event. And um, you know I'm new to it. I just kind of stood back and watched, and and uh, was just appreciative that, that 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 the student athletes and our staff were were, were a small part of it. Question for Coach Bob. I might get a two, 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 for, two for one then. Uh, what did what, you think? Uh, Ty was talking about he was really appreciate you guys bringing him here and he was excited to play his first game in a Razorback uniform. Kind of what did you think of his game? And, and, and uh, Mason Jones kind of had an uncharacteristically bad shooting night. I mean, he gets, got in foul trouble. What did what, what you think of his, his game? Yeah, I mean, we, you know, we need Mason to be a guy that, um, that's reliable from a consistency standpoint. Um, you know, in the in the in the throwback game, um, you know, turnovers and stuff, and then tonight some turnovers. And um, but we need Mason. Uh, we need him to to play with great consistency because um, he's another three point threat for us, and he can play different positions for us and so forth. Um, and then the first one was Silla. Yeah. 
I, th I thought JC was awesome because um, he just kind of blends in. And then you look at the stat sheet and you're like, oh, he rebounded the ball pretty decent. He made some shots. He's second or third leading scorer. I thought he did a really, really good job for us tonight. Because um, it's not easy. I mean, we had a great crowd. I mean, for an exhibition game, that's, that's a great crowd. Like, I mean, I didn't go home. Normally, I go home between shoot around. And I walked around campus for about 50 minutes today with my son. And, and um, we got done with our, you know, two hours before. I mean, there's pretty good size amount of people out there, which is unique uh, for an exhibition game. And then you start wondering, you know, butterflies with a new guy like Silla and so forth. And, and I thought he really responded great in his first game. And obviously, Jimmy's played here before. But, um, you know, it was new for, for Silla, and I thought he was, was really good. Thanks, Coach. Thanks you guys.